Alright, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'arakadash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And uh, this is just another GMS on the road. And uh, in this quick lesson, I want to touch on how Jake believes built a financial, building a financial system or building black wealth is what they call it in America, Babylon the Great, is gonna somehow save them, okay? It's gonna somehow save them from the bad predicament that they are in, okay? This is what Jake believes, all right? And who helps further push that madness? Who further leads them into ignorance is who? Their so-called leaders, right? Which are who? Their entertainers. They're, they're so-called icons of this society, right? This, these are the people who Jake look up to, okay? These different movie stars, right? These different uh, rappers, these different, uh, you know, uh, hip-hop, you know, singers, you know, or, or R&B singers and, you know, uh, the, the people, the entertainers of this world, right? So Jake thinks this is somehow... Of making it okay as you see uh, an entertainer on the screen as I speak what does he say promised land just got bigger you see hey because this is this is it for Jake right two-thirds of Jake this is the farthest the mind will go okay getting a hundred two hundred acres okay building farms you know building all these diff different things and in, inside of a society where they're where they're oppressed on all sides okay now the scriptures say in isaiah 9 verse 16 what does it say it says their leaders their leaders cause them to err and they that be led of them are destroyed so what does err mean to be in error okay to go the wrong way to go the opposite way of the truth okay so our people that are led of these people what they're destroyed all right hey these leaders are helping jake further be in a mental captivity right continue to be in a mental uh delusion i mean uh, yeah a mental uh a delusion you see or illusion however you want to say it matter of fact we could, we could look into the i'm saying that right I haven't looked at it. Yep. Delusion. All right. Hey, because Jake is what? Jake is delusional. You see? Hey, but see, because they not hearkening to who? The men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets. Right? So, hey, Jake, they continue to follow these so-called leaders instead of following the true leaders, which are the prophets. Right? Jake is staying on in a destroyed mind state. Right, as pro what do Proverbs twenty one verse sixteen and sixteen say? Uh, he who wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right, and two thirds of our people they are remaining where in the congregation of the dead. These people they are spiritually dead. Right, even though they may think they're alive, you know they may use these different quotes and say I'm woke. Right, Jake ain't woke. Jake is in a slumber, man. You see, cause Jake don't got the breath, right? Jake don't got the breath, and even even these some of these celebrities know if they Israelites, right? They got the skin on them, but they ain't got the breath. You see, so Jake out of there, right? So Jake think this is the way. See, this is the this is a part of the ways that Jake loved to walk in. You see. But see, Jake don't like to walk in this way. They don't like to walk in the ways of Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shai. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 13, uh, 13, verse 4. It says, Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice. And ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. Jake ain't doing that, right? Jake is disregarding Yahweh, Bashim, Yah, Shai. Jake is disregarding who? The Lord's counsel, which are who? The servants, the prophets, right? That's who Jake is sitting at night. Matter of fact, let's get a 
with me just quoting that, let's get it. The book of Proverbs 1. And matter, let, let's start at verse 20. It says, Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried from the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorn of delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. And this is what we say to Jake. How long are you going to be simple, man? Okay? Because building black wealth is not going to get you out of the predicament that you are in. Right? Now, I'm not saying that if you can further advance yourself in the society as far as to make without selling your soul, might I add. Right? If, if you if you can further, you know, find a way that can that can make you some money. Because we know money is defense, right? That can further help you and your family, that can help the brotherhood, right? The body, the church, then by all means, do what you gotta do. Handle your business, right? But don't let it corrupt you, right? And a lot of these are people that have these riches now, what? They sold out, right? They tossed out their morals. They tossed out their in integrity. They tossed out their honor. Okay? If they even knew what that was, right? They had completely sold their soul, man. To what? To gain the world. Or to gain the things of this world. Right? To gain the so-called riches of this world. Right? You are not to do that. You know? You still got to keep... Uh, you know, keep your mind on the swivel, right? But making some money while you out it, using the world without abusing the world. You see, but see, these people don't seem to get that, right? See, that's why these, well, that's why these jakes are where, where in a sunken place. So we say, how long, right? That's so what we say. We say, well, I'll say it again. It says, how long will you love simplicity? This is what we say to Jake. Because this ain't the way. This ain't the way you should be walking in. Verse 23. Turn you out my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make no, known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused. Let's read that again. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. And would none of my reproof I also will laugh at your calamity I will mock when your fear cometh You see So Jacob is setting out not The men of the Lord Right They're despising the word of Yah Shah. They don't want to hear nothing we got to say Because they feel as if that We are not educated enough We, we don't fit the standards Right Of America Babylon the Great uh, To their success To, to be the leaders to be the teachers to be the true prophets right we don't we don't fit the we don't fit that uh, babylonian criteria so to speak right we don't have the status right but see this this is how the lord got these people of the world in the trick bag because the lord is dealing with the lowly right the lord is dealing with the meek the lord is dealing with the humble okay the underdogs you see, to confound who? To confound the wise, to confound you people in the world that think y'all know what the hell is going on. You see? The Lord is dealing with the rough. The Lord is dealing with the rugged. Okay? Brought us out the shambles. Okay? Brought us out the uh hey, hey, we're you know you know we're better than this, but I'm just wanna use this quote. You know, we're diamonds in a rough, so to speak. <laughs> Alright? Who the Lord is using, man. Okay. Men, men of men can't, that came from the places of filth. Well, not all men, but a, major, a lot of us. Okay. Men that people, I'll just say this men that people never would have thought expected to be the men of the Lord. This is who the Lord is using, man. Refining us, man. As gold. Okay. Renewing our spirits day by day. You know, building us up in the faith, building us up in the spirit, building us up to continue to be leaders, teachers, prophets. You know, just to name a few things. 
Verse 25 again it says But you have said it all But you have said not all my counsel And with none of my reproof I will also laugh at your calamity And I will mock when your fear cometh When your fear cometh as desolation And your destruction cometh as the whirlwind When distress and anguish shall come upon you Then 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 shall you call upon me But I will not answer Then shall you seek me early But they Shall not find me And this is Jake for you See Jake like See Jake Their last minute guest Okay Jake like to be late for everything Okay But see You, you don't want to be late for this Okay You don't want to be late for this You don't want to be running around with uh, 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 The lamp with no oil Okay You don't want to be as those people Like in the days of Noah Right We waited wait, Waited till It start raining you know, they'd be like, oh, what they were saying were right. Because by the time, you know, the, it, it start flooding and all that, and they try to, you know, uh, uh, get on board, the Lord, what? He shut the door. He shut the door to the ark. So that's the same thing that's going to happen, you know, in these times with the spiritual ark. You see? Verse 29 says, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Right? And, and Babylon are great. Babylon the Great does not exalt the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Right? It, 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 it promotes the opposite. It promotes do as thou will. It promotes come as you are. Okay? The Lord ain't dealing with that. Okay? The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. Right? Do as you please. Just do it. Hey, man. See, you, you people going to be in for a rude awakening. Because we telling you. We've been telling you. And then the word is out there. The minute of the Lord is on the highways and byways, the word is all throughout the internet on all social sites, every social site, right? Any any form of app that's out there, right? The the Ezra, Hebrew Israelites are being mentioned. Okay, there's different memes going out, you know, all, all types of things. Okay, so people have seen, you know, uh, this Hebrew Israelite thing, right? So there's going to be no excuses. It's going to be no excuses okay verse 31 it says therefore shall they eat of the fruit right read it again it says therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices so jake y'all think y'all got everything planned out y'all gonna eat of your own way All right because the scriptures tell you matter of fact let's just get it The book of Psalms. Oh, that's going to the book of Job. Right? So slide kick. Remember, this is on a, a, GM, a GMS on the road. <clears throat> Psalms 127, verse 1, it says, A song of degrees for Solomon, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. You see? So everyone that's laboring, right, doing their own thing, right? Build them what they feel is right in their spirit. Okay? And it's not building what Yahweh building upon uh what Yahweh Shai uh wants to be built, right? Not adding to this uh this third temple, which is the spiritual, which is us, the church, right? Then y'all doing your own thing, y'all building it in vain, whatever it may be. You see. Let's go to, um, I actually forgot the scripture I wanted to get. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. I was just doing a quick through the spirit, so I'm not going to make this too long. Um, let's see. Oh, I can't find it. Um, let's see. Let's get it real quick. <clears throat> right, bear with me. Walk. E. Oh boy. I know it's in the, I know it's in the book of uh Isaiah. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's the book of Isaiah 30, verse 20. It says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. In the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into the corner anymore. 
but thine eye shall see thy teachers. Hey, and the Lord has it to where his men are on the highways and byways. To be where to be seen. We are in the public. What? Publishing the word of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Preaching and prophesying. Right? Brothers are literally on Front Street. Okay? In the downtown areas. In a chief, hey, in a chief place. Okay? The chief, in the chief place of concourse. You see? Where the people are what? Residing. Meaning, uh, you know, where the people are, uh, uh, you know, where the people are having a lot of movement at, okay? Shopping, right? Going back and forth, traveling, to, you know, getting to their next destination, destination, right? So we're out there on the forefront, you know? We're, 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 we're able to be seen, see? Because the Lord said your teachers won't be here into a corner no more, right? And thy eyes shall hear the word behind thee saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. But see, as I started out the lesson, Jake got, a, that got their own way they want to walk. They say, this is the way we're going to walk, right? While we're saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, right? So even though we're telling Jake, this is the way, walk ye in it, which is his truth, right? Telling him to repent and return back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and to quit being this rebellious nation, right? Jake say, hey, what do Jake say? We got our own path. We, we making our own path. Okay? That's the way we walking. We walking this way. Guess what? Scriptures also say, uh, thou shalt not follow the multitude to do evil. Okay? So when you see, hey, when you see these Jakes running around doing what they doing, right? Hey, don't follow behind these Jakes. Let them do what they do. See, because Jake don't got long, Jake don't got long to be doing all this folly. You see, because all this is temporary, man. Right? All, all, everything that you see, this, this is all temporary. Because all this BS is gonna come to an end, right? And then it's, it's, it's gonna be glory. You know, beauty is gonna be on the earth very soon. Righteousness, peace, right? Pureness is gonna be on the earth very soon, man. Not filth, disgust, dishonor. You know, all those different things. So, you know, I just wanted to touch on that through the spirit of the Lord, you know, uh, as I see in that picture. And the spirit just hopped on me to do a quick lesson through the spirit. So, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to you. Howell by Shemel Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.